Okay, the lovely Starsha. Step right up to the microphone, and it's on. It's hot. Three, two, one. Hello, Collective. Welcome to Supernova Moon Tarot. My name is Starsha. This reading is going to be your 911 emergency blackout read. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to be in your energy. Cross watchers, you know you always welcome returning viewers. Thank you so much for coming back and subscribers. Do not forget to hit that bell. I'm gonna start your reading out by using the Brighter Weight Tarot deck and the first card to drop out is the Judgment card in reverse. Someone in a relationship is not using proper judgment. This could be you. This could be someone that's around you. What's the challenge here? We have the two of wands in reverse. So instead of planning, strategizing, sitting down to the table and coming to some form of agreement, resolution, instead of putting everything out on the table and mending things that are broken, they're choosing to ignore it. They're choosing just to carry on as if there is nothing to address. The root of this energy is the nine of wands here. Anxiety, stress, worry. So someone is stressed out here. And instead of facing the issue head on, planning and strategizing, really looking at the details, they're choosing to just let things happen as they may. Let the chips fall as they may. And doing so is creating this air of anxiety. This could be you or this could be someone in your environment. What is this in regards to spirit? Could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Swords energy here coming in very quickly. This could be bill collectors here, financial institutions here, banks, emails, messages here. What does this Knight of Swords energy have to say? Either way, someone is coming in swiftly, even if it has nothing to do with your finances or bills, but I am picking that up heavily. Someone is coming in with some sort of message here. Or someone has received some sort of message here. Give me information about this. Someone may be receiving calls here. I'm seeing repetitive calls, scam likely, bill collectors. But I'm also seeing someone coming in to have some sort of conversation here. They're coming in quickly. It's like they're coming, popping up out of nowhere here. Right before you move away. Or this is going to happen as you leave a particular relationship. You could be in a relationship with someone like this. This could be you in the relationship. Or this could be a relationship between you and again, some sort of business, okay? Some sort of entity here, organization. Before you up and leave, before you get away here, they want to communicate something with you or to you. Maybe this has to do with possible job loss here, you know, tight funds, not being able to pay bills here, not being able to keep up. Okay, but again, you're going to be receiving some information here. You're going to be receiving some information before you choose to move away or take your business elsewhere. Okay, for some of you, what do they want to say here? What's going on? Let's dig a little deeper. 
what's going on here? So we have the Knight of Wands coming out in reverse. So the Knight of Wands energy, it can be an energy that, you know, makes decisions on a whim here. Um, this could be someone who is very um, flashy. Um, they are very um, quick to make decisions based off of impulse here. So impulsivity, okay? So there's an energy of impulsivity that's standing out here, okay? Someone's impulsive nature, someone who is easily tempted here, someone who puts wants over needs, okay? So you are dealing with someone who is in that energy or they were in that energy or maybe this was you in the energy. Not being able to get something off of the ground here, not being able to get a business off of the ground here. For some of you, for some of you not being able to get your vehicle off the ground. So it's like, how can I work? If I'm having issues with my vehicle here. Or someone may be getting some sort of message about the removal of a vehicle. Due to non-payment. Some of you may be getting a message about someone who is. They're not coming towards you here. This person is not coming towards you. They're choosing to be self-centered here and they're choosing to, you know, move away from you. They're choosing to be focused on what they want for some of you that may resonate. But because of someone's judgment here, to not commit, to not commit to their responsibilities, to not commit to a relationship, to not commit to an organization here. Someone decided to jump ship without planning and strategizing. And now it's created that um, now they're in a space of being very stressed out. Maybe someone walked away too soon. Maybe someone just didn't plan and strategize a, a, an exit strategy that was going to be beneficial here. What's crowning this reading? The energy crowning this reading? What energy is crowding this reading? We've got three of cups in reverse. So some of you all may be in... Um, and really not an, an engaging, you know, energy here. Maybe you're off to yourself here. Um, some of you all feel as if you don't have an outlet of support here, okay? That you've got to try to manage this on your own with all you have, you know? I'm getting a message that sometimes you just can't control the situation. You just have to let it go and learn about judgment, decisions, choices, planning and strategizing and the importance of it. So I see that some of you guys may be feeling disappointment, okay? It may not be the easiest situation um, it wasn't the easiest situation to experience here. A lot of pain, disappointment. It seems like you just turned down opportunities. You turned down offers here. Some of you all turned down help. You turned down people who wanted to reach out to you. You turned down dating offers here. You guys aren't really just 
I mean, you're kind of keeping to yourself here. Someone's in an energy of like sulking because of the decisions that they made. We have the hangman energy here. So we've got a new perspective coming in, which is good. Enlightenment that's coming in. How do you see yourself at this time? You see yourself as victorious here. All right. Knight of Cups in a reverse, but you're just not, you're not, you're not going to give out any offers here. You're a little bit emotionally unstable, a little bit stressed, but you feel like you can still come up is what I'm getting, that you can still heal and elevate from the situation, that life is not over. Like even if you're in debt or even if some of your you know material things were taken away, life isn't over, you can start again. But it's very stressful right now. Yeah, strength. <laughs> Could be dealing with the Leo. What are your hopes and fears? Hopes and fears? That's a lot. <clears throat> hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. One card, please, for hopes and fears. Queen of Cups, Four of Wands. So some of you all, some of you all do want marriage. You do want to come into partnership with a, a new business, a new job opportunity. You feel like you have a lot of gifts and skills to do very well at a new establishment here. Some of you all are still open to the idea of love, open to the idea of friendship, open to the idea of you know getting yourself to a space where you can you know get back on your feet and celebrate here. You know get yourself some stability here, but also keep shining. Um, so it, it, even though the situation, the circumstance is bad, or even though you're having a stagnant period of, of loss here is what I'm getting in late in relationship, material things, things of that nature. Um, you, that still hasn't killed your dream. That still hasn't crushed your heart to be open to, you know, the rewards and the opportunities of the future. So what's the outcome here for you guys? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, is there going to be some help coming in for those are who are going through finances here? So we have this three of pentacles energy. So it looks like you're going to be working and collaborating with someone to um, stop this death from happening here. Um, some of you all are going to be able to get some help right before um, something goes down that you didn't want to go down because we have death in reverse here. So you're going to be working to try to stop um, this transition, this transaction is what I'm hearing. Um, some of you are going to be able to work together with either a, a law group or something like that. Give me more information on this three of pentacles. Some of you all are going to get back out there in the dating scene. You're going to go, um, you know, work for a new company here, get some training here, um, get yourself leveled up so that you can go ahead and start bringing in some, some finances here so you can avoid this, this, the destruction in this death card. This, this entity is literally trampling over everything and it doesn't matter <laughs> who or what's in the way and so you know you don't want to feel as if your life is you know in a train wreck so it looks like some sort of assistance is going to come in here um so i'm definitely picking up financial issues here but in regards to relationship it looks like the primary focus is going to be work and stability all right mending a broken heart because it looks like you're still broke broken hearted off of a relationship that you thought was going to turn into something all right um, you no longer see, you know, um, a potential future in this relationship. However, this cycle still isn't over. But it seems like there's there, there's nothing good that comes out of it because we have the wheel of fortune in reverse here. So some of you are, you know, still going through a karmic cycle, karmic partners, karmic lessons here. All right. Things are being revealed that you didn't want to see. Things are being revealed. Um, you know, whatever you've been putting um, on the back burner or, you know, trying to duck and dodge, it's it's like it's not happening. Everything is coming up, coming out, whether it's finances, relationships, family secrets, anything that has to come out to the surface, it's going to come out. We have the lover's card as your final card here. Um, so that's good. This is new contracts here. All right. So that's very good. Um, let's 
Let's get an angel message. <clears throat> angel message for the collective. Angel message. We have new love coming in. That comes out a lot. Let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. So new love is coming in. All right, so that's great news for someone. And also harmony, that's really good. It sounds like we need some harmony, right? There's a lot of things going on, <laughs> a lot of demands being made. And some of us feel like we just coming up short, you know, and it's not an easy time. It's not an easy time. So conflict is resolved in a situation that was troubling you. Know that you deserve this peace, happiness, and accept it graciously. Beloved child of God, you are a peace lover at heart. This card comes to you as a sign of new harmony that dawns upon you. Let go of viewing the situation as troubled and see yourself and others through the eyes of your guardian angels. In this way, you'll look past the surface and see the beauty and light that eternally shines within everyone. By shifting your viewpoint to the angelic perspective, you become an earth angel. Holding an elevated viewpoint sparks miraculous healings in your relationships. Conflict drops away, revealing the clean and new truth about everyone and everything literally sums up the um, reading. I mean, exactly. Wow. Thank you. So, um, you know, what, whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to go through it, you know, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it looks like what you're manifesting is harmony. Um, sometimes, you know, things are just stripped from us because they no longer serve us, you know, um, and it's a hard pill to swallow. It's a tough fall, <laughs> But, um, you know, you only have up to go, you know, there's only up from here. So, um, you know, I wish you all the best. I'll definitely continue to, you know, pull more energies to see what's going on. If I can help you all relay any spirit messages that may guide you through this journey. It's been a pleasure to be in your energy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll be talking with you guys very soon. Be sweet. Thanks for watching and donating to the channel. Love, Starsha.